October 12, 2017 Cleveland, who knew that the sequence of events necessary to lead the Yankees back to the American League Championship Series would require the trade for Didi Gregorius, the shortstop that Brian Cashman targeted to follow the October legend, Derek Jeter no one could have predicted it, just as virtually no one forecast the Yankees to qualify for the playoffs this year. And once they did, most thought it impossible for them to knock off the top-seeded Indians, a team that won 22 games in a row, or rally from a self-inflicted 0-2 deficit. But all that really happened, and then we had to suspend our disbelief one more time for Wednesday night's Game 5, when Gregorius homered twice off Corey Kluber, the Indians' ace and probable Cy Young winner, to power the Yankees' 52 victory at a stunned silent progressive field. See photos ALDS Game 5 Yankees at Indians For me, I always believed in myself, Gregorius said afterward. There's always people that are going to doubt you. At the end, it's up to you how hard you want to work. For me, everything starts with myself. I try to take advantage of everything. Gregorius became only the ninth player to go deep twice in a sudden deep playoff game, and the third Yankee, joining Yogi Berra 1956 World Series and Jason Giambi 2003 ALCS. As instrumental as Gregorius has been to the Yankees' surprising 91-win season, stepping up on the playoff stage takes him to another level, at least to an elevation that brings him into the Jeter conversation. Then again, that's a discussion that's quieted considerably in the past few years, especially in the wake of Wednesday's post-game champagne celebration. You don't hear much about Shatade, C.C. Sabathia said, other than him owning the Marlins. For Gregorius, it's now all about him owning Kluber, and what he can deliver in the next round against the Astros. Jeter helped the Yankees to five rings, four of them in the first five years of his career. Gregorius, still only 27, is long way from Bronx immortality. But he's already proved himself a worthy successor to the future Hall of Famer, and Gregorius never flinched with the Jeter narrative hounding him. By clicking sign up, you agree to our privacy policy. That question never gets old, Gregorius said. It's amazing for me to be in this organization and just being awesome with these guys. I'm going to keep saying that so many times. If you guys get tired of it, let me know. Gregorius shocked Kluber in Wednesday's winner take showdown, hammering a 1-2 and two fastball over the right field wall in the first inning. After two meekouts, Brett Gardner's leadoff bunt attempt and another strikeout by Aaron Judge, Gregorius instantly silenced a crowd that was anticipating the third strike. As a momentum shifter, this DD blast was on par with the tying three-run homer crushed in the wild card win over the Twins, albeit with a different soundtrack. On that October 3rd night, Gregorius transformed the demoralized Bronx into giddy bedlam, rallying the restless crowd and sparking the Yankees to the eventual 84 victory. After what the Indians' faithful must have thought was a lucky punch, Gregorius did even more damage in the third inning, thanks to Gardner's opening single. One out later, Gregorius fouled off a 91 miles per hour cut fastball, then crushed an 87 miles per hour curve ball to the same locale as the first homer, only five feet shorter. Gardner, who watched from the base baths, initially thought he needed to go back and tag up because he figured there was no way Didi could take him deep twice in one game. Gardner was joking, but that's been a common theme for Gregorius since he arrived in the Bronx. Underestimate him at your peril. Only two months after Jeter bid farewell at Fenway Park, Cashman acted quickly to secure Gregorius, pulling off a three-team trade with the Diamondbacks and Tigers that only cost him pitcher Shane Green, who was shipped to Arizona. Now that goes down as perhaps Cashman's greatest heist in his nearly two decades as general manager. No disrespect to Jeter, we wish him well in fixing the Marlins. But Cashman, along with the rest of the Yankees' universe, ISNT spending much time daydreaming about the Jeter era in the Bronx. They're now on to the dawn of Didi, and perhaps the start of a new October legend.